Welcome back to the Bell Centre, Hockey Night in Canada. The Senators and the Montreal Canadiens meeting for the second of five times this year. Division rivals, Ottawa beat Montreal 4-1 to in, in Ottawa back in November. They just hit the ice, as did the Canadians. The Senators starting a four-game road trip. They've had their way with Montreal, 5-1 and one versus the Habs, including last year's playoff series, outscoring them 24-10. to 10. Michelle Lacroix bringing you our anthem. Mesdames, Messieurs, ce soir nous nous tournons vers vous pour Anthony, le hymne national. Veuillez vous joindre aux autres partisans au centre belge pour chanter le Haut Canada, accompagné à l'ordre par Madame Diane Bibo. Ladies and gentlemen, to perform the national anthem tonight, we turn to you. Please join your fellow fans here at the Bell Centre in the singing of Haut Canada, accompanied on the organ by Mrs. Diane Bibo. Great to have the national anthem sung by the fans here at the Bell Center. One key to keep an eye on tonight, the Sens and their discipline. No team has uh, allowed more power play goals this year. No team has been short-handed more than the Senators. However, during this three-game winning streak, they have not allowed a single power play goal scored against them. Paul McClain told me the big thing is they have better puck possession. When we have puck possession, we control the tempo. When we control the tempo, we don't have to worry about taking penalties and chasing the game. And they can't afford to do that against the Montreal Canadiens who have the seventh best power play in the National Hockey League. The dynamic duo for the Habs of late have been Max Pacioretty and P.K. Subban. Combine those two players, six goals, six assists in the last two games. Pacioretty, of course, on the U.S. Olympic team, and P.K. Subban hoping to be a member of the Canadian Olympic team. Bob Cole, Gary Galley have our call. Should be a great one, the Habs and the Sens. Bob. Well, the Canadians come into this Atlantic Division matchup, 10 games over 500. While Ottawa is just now at the 500 mark, but the Senators are playing better of late. They've won three in a row. And one of the big reasons is this man, Craig Anderson. He's feeling a lot better about his game. He's 4-1-1 one one in his last six. Carey Price has a career record versus the Senators of 14-6-3. He's starting his third consecutive game. The referees are Mark Joannette and Francois Saint Laurent. Derek Nansen, Steve Barton working the lines. Canadians start with Eller, Prost, and Galchenyuk against Zach Smith with Condra and Colin Greening. The defenseman for Montreal, Yamelin Markov. For Ottawa, Griba and Mathot. Played back by Griba to Mathot. He got it up to center ice and Condra gets over the line. They're just on side. Condra coming in hard. Score! Just 13 seconds into the game. And Ottawa gets a great goal with Colin Greening coming in on that left wing. He was wide open. He scores the goal. And this shocks this sellout crowd. Well, it's going to come off a nice shovel pass from Zach Smith. Well, let's have a look at it right from the get-go. Nice neutral zone. Cross ring pass from Mark Mathot and take it to the middle of the ice. Smith realizes he can't handle it. Condra keeps driving, so it's a nice little shovel pass back to Condra. But what continues to transpire is going to the net is big calling greening. Plus does not get position on his stick, and all he does is put it strong on the ice, and he is strong as an ox, and he shoves that into the back of the net. Great play by Greening, who's skating well for Ottawa. And 
Things are being held up now. We've got a, a bird in the building, it's and uh, it's a bat, really, flying all over the place, end to end. And I don't know what they're going to do. This happened a few <laughs> years back, and I think it was Buffalo. We had quite a delay. Somebody got to stick to it. Anyway, we are underway, and Ottawa shocking this crowd of 21,273. Another sellout, of course. And it's Greening's fourth of the season for Conrad Smith. 13 seconds in. Price comes out of the net, nearly got caught. Ottawa attacking hard again. Crowd of them on the board trying to get the puck loose. It's Bobby Ryan getting it back to the blue line. Ottawa looking sharp in the early going. Ryan lost it though, and Pacioretty takes off. Got to center, decides to go himself offside is the call. I think it was DeHarnay on this left side who came in behind him and ahead of him. Well, I personally thought they would play Placanitz against this tourist line. It's been so hot, and what they do so well is they come at you north-south. And Carey Price comes out of the net, which he tends to do. He likes to come out and play the pucks, help his defenseman out. But there he gets a bit out caught. He doesn't keep an eye on the puck, and Turris actually runs into him as Subban gives him the what for in the corner. Face off is just outside the Ottawa blue line. Subban the Jad, number 93. His line is McCauley and Conacher against Placanitz, Bork, and Gianta for the Canadians. Got into the zone by Douglas Murray, number six for Montreal. Bork comes in after it. He's upended, going after the puck in the corner, and Ottawa defending well and now taking off. Jabanajad got a pass in here. It was in behind the defenseman, Cece, who came up with him, but it's right in front of the net. Score again! In behind Price. The referee says no, it didn't get in. Price looks around, doesn't know where it is, and apparently it did not get in over the line. The first game back off a long road trip just does not usually bode well for the home team. And Montreal is just asleep right now. Ottawa is absolutely flying. They double up on the puck on Georges. And look at Placanitz. He's standing over on the post with absolutely nobody. As Sabanajad walks right out in front and almost buries it. Ottawa players celebrating thought they had another goal. But the Canadians keep it out this time. It's still one to nothing. We haven't hit the two-minute mark yet. And Ottawa looking very sharp. This is an icing call against Montreal. This crowd uh, can't figure out what's happened. It's the first time back here for red, white, and blue. Well, if you're the Montreal Canadiens, you know, you can look back at your last six appearances against the Ottawa Senators. Of course, five of them were in the playoffs, and it didn't bode very well for them there. And on November 7th, that 4-1 loss. So you got to know they want to get back on the winning track against the Senators here at home, and it has not been a good start. Clear is thrown out. Bornaval well, comes in to take the face off. The Senators win it and get a shot on goal. Cassian comes after the rebound. Stone is in behind the net for Ottawa, trying to dig it loose. All Ottawa so far, and they have possession inside that Montreal line again. Pajot slapped it around the goal. The defenseman pinching in was Cowan. Played over here to Carlson. Dangerous angle for him, but he let it rip. And he just missed the far side. Ottawa Stone kept it in as he got back near the blue line. And the Canadians finally stab it near the blue line, but it's still not out. Cassian comes after his man. Missed him. Canadians get it ahead. Bornaval can't handle it, though. Played back inside that line, and Grada fired it to Mathot over there, and he got a long pass back. And then tipped in by Conrad. Here comes the first penalty of the game against Ottawa. Prost is upended at center ice, and he's been hurt just now, retrieving his stick. And no doubt he is heading to the Montreal bench. And a couple of drop block, uh, blood droplets onto the ice there as he's obviously cut. And you're going to look at the collision at center ice as Conjurer tips it in. And again, he's just trying to tip it into the zone off a regroup. His stick comes up and catches him in the face. And this is going to be a four-minute penalty for sure. As you've got to be responsible. His stick is way up around the neck area of Pruss when the contact happens. So Pruss will head to the locker room for a bit of help from the doctors. And they'll put some sutures in that. He'll be back out for sure. I think this is what the Canadians need. Pruss to exactly plan it this way, but uh, it's a uh, power play. Slow Ottawa down here. They're, they're flying right now, and this power play for Montreal, you're right, Bob, will just give Montreal a chance to catch their breath, hopefully. 
for seventh in the league, a little over 20 percent efficiency. Needing one now, falling behind one nothing on the green and goal. This man bringing the puck, got it over to Mark Hall, and he sets it up by shooting it in. Pacioretty was on it, didn't handle it cleanly, but the Canadians keep it in. Subban shot, tipped at the side of the goal, cleared away by Mathot to the corner. He's going to get another shot at the line, but gives it up to Markov. Markov skates this way, backhands the pass ahead. Pacioretty finds the big defenseman. Got it ahead, they're passing it beautifully, but nobody getting near the net. So now, the shot was right on. Veered off into the corner. Stopped at the line again, Subban fed it ahead. Good looking power play for a bit by the Canadians. Didn't get too close to the net though. Long shot by Subban was the best chance. They're offside this time going in. Subban got a hit in there from Griba. Backed off in a hurry. Montreal's power play struggled for a period of time. They went three for 35 over a 15 game span, but they're 30% over the last two games. And here's what you see. Markov cuts to the middle of the ice. That opens up Subban. And again, Markov will just lower himself right to the net. That opens up the shot up top. You can't cover both these guys. Both of them rip the puck pretty good. If one opens up the zone, the other one may have a chance at a shot to the net. Four minute power play, or less, for the Canadians. They've had one shot on goal so far. That's the one we talked about. Subban starts him off again to Markov. He wheels his way up oh. over that line, wrong side, shooting the puck in. Post call at the line, but the play is alive. And Pacioretty banked it off the boards, and that was given up at Sarais. Nearly a big giveaway to Ottawa, but Subban got back. Sweeps in front of the net, pulls away from Torres. Got it down near the line, and they're on the move in there again, Giada. Tried to get inside, but he couldn't do it. He has it again. Giada banked it off the boards, back to the line. Subban again, just ahead a little bit. And right back to Subban, he couldn't shoot it. He was covered by Torres. The shot does come in, rebound is right there! The whistle had gone after the puck was pushed across the line. And a hand pass, the referee is making a signal there now, stops the play. No goal. Good movement by Montreal, good looking power play, and he never had this puck. I don't believe Anderson ever freezes this. Good job to Gionta to take the shot, you got Bork sitting right in front. This puck is rebounding off the pads of Anderson as Bork is banging away at it. And at no point do I think Anderson gets a glove over it. He doesn't have it yet. And this, to me, is a good goal. But the referee lost sight of the puck, blows the whistle down, no goal. Francois Saint Laurent says no. Sound of the whistle before the puck got in, so it's still 1-0 Ottawa. Pajot brings it away. A long pass down the ice, that's okay. Playing some more time. Double minor against Ottawa. Condor in the box. Nice sticking call. Played in by Canadians. Subban attacks all the way himself this time. The casual is over there, couldn't get the puck. Out. They get it out and down the ice anyway. Price decides to go out and play it. 145 left. In this power play for the Canadians, they're trailing one nothing. On the move through center, Galchenyuk made the pass over, hopped away into the corner. Canadian pouring after it along the boards. No play made from him there. Good stop by Griba, preventing a pass. Griba again fights his way on the puck, got it back, and it's going to be cleared out of the zone by Mathot, who carried the center and then blasted one down the ice. Pollock was up on it. We're nearing the six-minute mark. 1.16 left in the penalty. Three shots on the goal now for Anderson. It's an icing call on here, and I don't know why they're going to take it outside. Maybe a mistake by the linesman. But two Canadians go in to forecheck this puck, and neither one of them can come up with it. It's Griba who really outmuscles the two Canadian players. Montreal just got to dump it and go get a team. They're better to come in, control, with control of the puck. When they dump it in, they're not a big enough team to go up against the big defense of Ottawa. Deharnay is on there to win this face-off for Montreal. Power play continues with Subban up over the line again. They're offside this time. Another close call. Subban doesn't like it at all, and he lets the linesman know, but there's going to be a face-off just outside the blue line again. Markov and Subban have been out for the entire power play. I think maybe a 10 or 15 second rest is all they've gotten. As the Ottawa Senators try to kill off this four-minute high stick penalty to Condra. Doing a pretty good job of the two, a minute ten left on it. 
That's your ready. Great skater got up there just a little bit too late, but now he gets a chance to play it back, and Markov had to hurry that pass. Back to Markov from Gallagher on the other side. Long shot, Subban, way wide of the net. It got near the blue line, but uh, cut then. Another penalty coming up against Ottawa. Pacioretty is on the puck. Price has gone to the bench, but now the play is stopped. Ottawa in possession. Here comes the call. Good, smart play by Pacioretty to give Ottawa the puck. You've got 40-something seconds of five on three as you're going to get a tripping call right here on Clark MacArthur. And this has been a problem for Ottawa all season long is the number of penalties they take. They lead the league at 173 penalties. And this is opportunity for Montreal as Subban's just jawing away at the bench. And Markov actually comes over and tells him, okay, that's enough. Focus on the game. And that's where Markov leads big time. Look out, Markov! The shot is off the blade of a stick and way wide of the net. That was a good face-off win by Montreal and a good chance to score, but it's still 1-0 Ottawa. And a lucky break that this puck goes out of the zone as Phillips breaks his stick on that play coming to the net. You'll see him lean there. It's broken. That would have been a five on two and a half as a good draw and Markov gets a good look at Anderson. 42 seconds left. The five on three for Montreal. Deharnay can't win this one. Doesn't matter. Gets to the line. Knocked down there. Back and forth. Markov and Subban. Markov, no shot from him yet. Passes to the side of the net. Now will he shoot it? The shot is right on from Subban. Stopped by Anderson and cleared by the Sens. Down the ice and Price plays it ahead. Markov turning back up. 21 seconds left on the five on three. Canadians trying to get that equalizer here. And it's going to be Subban again. Hit the shot. Pacioretty is in close. He decides to go around the net. Played it to the corner. Back out to Markov. Markov, Subban! And that's deflected on the glass. It stays inside the line. Knocked down along the boards on that far side. One penalty is done. Here's another long shot. Doesn't reach the goalie. Big scramble for it. Pajot's after it. Broke the stick. Tries to handle it with the skates. Does a pretty good job of it. But it's stopped at the line by Markov. Subban again! Off the goal post this time! Hard shot by Subban. Anderson didn't move. But it hit the post. Stays out. Gallagher there with Subban. Gallagher flipped it out the net. That's stopped by Phillips. He cleared out and down the ice. 44 seconds left in the Ottawa penalty. So the Canadians doing everything but scoring to tie the game. 1-0 Ottawa. They're on the move again. Placanis coming on. Up over the line. Played it on the boards. And that's broken up. Senators doing great right here with only 25 seconds left to kill now. For checking was McCulloch, didn't touch the puck. Canadians line up and come down the ice, passing it well, getting it on the ball, and he was full up from getting the shot. Good play by Carlson, who got back and just got a stick in front of him. Eight seconds left in the penalties. All but done. Bouillon brings it up over the line and starts to go himself. Ottawa back at full strength. MacArthur jumps on the ice. One shot all that time. All that possession by the Canadians. But it's still 1-0 Ottawa. And we've got another penalty coming up. It's going to be to the Canadians. Bork. Interference, no doubt. We'll be back. On the power play. That's pretty good. The third in the National Hockey League, and now they get a chance to go after the Canadians. They're leading one to nothing on Colin Green's fourth of the season. At 13 seconds, mind you. Phillips gets it back to the blue line as they win the draw. Carlson is out there. He starts it off. Moving it in there. Carlson will take it. At the blue line. Carlson over here to Phillips with the shot. Way that price. He read it all the way. Came out a foot or two and held on to it. Well, you look at the Montreal Canadiens, they've had six minutes of power play time. P.K. Subban's been on the ice for about five minutes of the first seven, eight minutes of this hockey game. And a lot of guys have been sitting on the bench and now have to come out and kill this penalty. Pretty good road power play too, Bob, like you mentioned. Turris, Ryan, and MacArthur are the people on there for the face-off for Ottawa. Phillips and Carlson back in the blue line. The Canadians will send them back. And it'll be Carlson who'll come back. The Canadiens is the 1-4 checker up so far for Canadians. On the penalty kill, he sleeps away as he sees Carlson go to center. Hands it off to the left side, they get it in deep. And now it's a late whistle on the offside. 
at the blue line. Believe it or not, it's Chris Phillips, <laughs> the gray beard, chugging up the left side of the ice that just goes offside slightly. And the one thing you say is you got Chris Phillips on your number one power play, but what he is is he's predictable. He's a veteran guy, he knows his limitations, he moves the puck at the right times, and at the right times he will shoot the puck like we saw him do early on this power play. And it's a good choice when you put a guy that's predictable. And Paul McLean comes on with Zibanejad, and he couldn't win the faceoff in there. Enough to set something up. Carlson will bring it out again for Ottawa. Right through center. Picks up a little speed. Lost it at the blue line. The Canadians lose it. CC kept it in. Flipped into the corner by McCulloch. At the line, CC banked it in there again. McCulloch missed it this time. It's centered all right. Zavanajan got it back to the line. CC the other way. No shot on goal yet. And the Canadians do not clear it out. Bad attempt that time. By Murray, and get all of it. Now a chance. That long shot off the shoulder of Price, it'll go out of play. As Carlson just ripped the high one, and uh, he got the blocker up, and it went over the glass. Well, their last five games, the Canadians have been short 21 times. They've killed 16 of them. That's only 76 percent, and a lot of it has to do is when you get the opportunity to clear a puck, you've got to get the puck out of the zone and get it down 200 feet. And when you fail to do that, you're vulnerable. 48 seconds left in the penalty. One nothing Ottawa. Kyle Turris wins the faceoff cleanly back to the line. Carlson gives it to CC. Comes in hard. The shot. Back to the way. It stays inside that blue line though. Ottawa on the outside passing it around. The Canadians trying to set it up. That chance by Turris hit the side of the net. Back to the line and Carlson comes on a step or two. Put the shot in there. Big rebound and that's cleared out and down the ice. 23 seconds left in the Bork penalty. Carlson comes back. Price has made two saves now on this power play by Ottawa, which is almost done. 12 seconds left as they go offside at the blue line and make that 13 seconds now left on this power play for Ottawa. Well, this power play relies on the back end, the movement of the back end, and Carlson is so good at lateral movement. So is this young lad, Cody Cece from Ottawa. He's come up here, and he's given them another dynamic. He's got some great mobility, another right-hand shot, and the future looks bright with those two young mo mobile guys on the backside on your power play. Zibanejad, Colic to his right. Colic couldn't reach it after Zibanejad appeared to win the face-off. Shot down the ice, that'll do it on the Bork penalty. He's ready to come back on. As Carlson comes out, four seconds left on the penalty, but he'll get center ice in the zone by tipping it in over the line. The Canadians break it up. Bork was out there near center, thought the pass was coming from Bouillon, but he didn't see him. Bouillon takes his man out of the play, who tried to come in. Now get a kick out of that one. Long pass to Bouillon, he's on the center. Didn't reach center, gave it to DeHarnay. He comes in, and played it back to Pacioretty, but he was covered. Got the pass back to Subban. In at the side of the net, Pacioretty missed it. Comes after it, but it'll be grabbed by McCollin, and he'll skate to the line. And Pacioretty stopped him, but he got it back again, tipped it in at the end of the shift, and that line skates off. Bouillon back for the Canadians. 9.37 remaining in the first period. Ottawa early goal by Colin Greening, his fourth of the season. In wide of the net, Anderson was halfway out and decided to come all the way and bump it a little bit. And it helps him get going to center ice. Smith lost it. And then Bork, he's a fast skater and he's striding in after the puck. Put on the brakes and fell. That will allow the Canadians to back off. But Greening is coming again. Greening on the boards, gave it away. Canadians on the move. Pass comes to Bork. Tried to return it, Greening was back checking. He picked it off and cleared it to center ice. Greening missed it this time. Gianni in. Shot stopped by Craig Anderson. Big rebound, but Gianni couldn't get up to it. Gal Chenya back in his own zone. Comes to center. Nice play over the crust. Crust him with a shot. Gloved by Anderson. And he's going to hang on. The shots are even at this point. Six apiece, but it's 1 0. Ottawa over Montreal. Back to the Bell Center in Montreal. Gary, the big guys for Ottawa are starting to get going. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to play the body. Montreal Canadiens have got some small forwards. You don't want them scooting around. Griba lays a nice little lick on the captain, Gionta, and then Mathot knocks down Breer, and then over by the board, Zach Smith's going to have a chat here with Yemelin as it gets a bit testy here at the Bell Center, Bob. All right, faceoff is coming up in that big circle to the left of Craig Anderson. 
And Zach Smith skates to that spot against Breer of Montreal. Here we go. Breer wins it clean. Nickel shot is wide of the net. A little stop there by Murray. Douglas Murray played it ahead deep. Now he pinches in a little bit. Turned out to be a good move. Got it in there. What a save by Anderson. They score. doesn't make him feel good. Healthy scratch for a couple of games, and he's going to light the lamp first for the Montreal Canadiens. Good job by Montreal tracking the puck down. Sloppy play by the Senators along the wall with a good pinch, and they retake the puck over. And again, Chris Phillips is looking to become an out behind the net for an easy play from his partner. But he gets behind the net, but it turns over, and it turns over to Daniel Briere. He gets one shot, a really good save by Craig Anderson, but good on Briere to stay with it. He gets the rebound, he gets his backhand on it, and it pops up and over the top of Anderson, and this game is all tied. 1-1 as Subban comes back to take over in his own zone. He's playing alongside Bouillon. Up the center of the Canadians with a life now. Long shot in there. Fired by Gianna right on. Anderson easy save. Canadians look a little better. They had two or three chances before him. Not going by Briere. Anderson had made some great stops, especially just before the score. has to come out big as MacArthur intercepted that leading pass. Canadians give it up inside their own blue line. MacArthur chases again, picks it up, and skates all the way back to the line. Not much room there. Carlson was there to get it in front of the net. The Canadians get it out the book. He's up to center. Brooke takes a little break at the blue line, and Carlson takes care of it. He let MacArthur come back to pick it up. Sends cleared high on the glass and down the ice. Montreal is changing. Icing is waved off. 7.23 left to play in the first. One one tie now, and that's Markov. Right wing pass, Deharnay. Cuts in front, gets a shot away, and that hit something and went wide of the here, net. Here. They turn it back up the ice, led by McCollum. Tipped in deep, wide of the goal. And to pick it up as Conacher took a blow for it, and the Canadians do not clear it right away. Conacher shakes it off and goes after the puck. He and McCollum. But this time, Montreal will get it out to center ice. McCollum was waiting for it. Is Greiber there with him? Goes the other way, down across the line, plus had his man covered. And Yamelin got it off the boards to center. Patch ready, played it from the blue line in deep, and that line is changing. Except Prost, who kept coming in after him. Couldn't stop Greiber. He got the puck out and down the ice. And Price leaves the net. Tipped it to the corner with luck out, right on it quickly was Stone. Couldn't get a good shot away, though. Back out to center, pounded back in. Price leaving the net. And uh, Murray back. Douglas Murray starts up. Oh, he might get an assist on that goal by Briere. Only one given, that by Moore. Ottawa breaks Stone, backhander scores! Loose play inside that Montreal line again. And Mark Stone was on it. 2-1 Ottawa. The second game since being called up, he played about eight and a half minutes and had two really good chances in the game against Winnipeg. And here it just dogs the puck. Murray goes over to Georges, and instead of making the safe play off the wall, which right here to the winger to tip it into the zone, it takes a fortuitous bounce to Ottawa, comes right down the gut of the ice back at Montreal, and Stone just out battles Georges for the puck. Again, the bounce, the lively bounce from Georges off the wall doesn't get to the winger, and that transitions the puck, and a sloppy play at the blue line. And Stone's got the goal, head goal right here with his first career National Hockey League goal. So Breer scored his sixth, and Stone scores his first. Ottawa takes the lead again. 13.50, the time of the goal by Mark Stone. They saw it won by the Senators, and they dump it in again. Two men on it. Trying to lift it high, didn't get it out. Pass Mathot. Kept in there by Condra. Condra moved it up, and they score! Price looks bewildered. It hit something right in front of him. Maybe his skate. Not sure. I think Bouillon, possibly. 
The defenseman that was going to the net trying to get position on Zach Smith may have, may have inadvertently put this into his net. Good job at the blue line to keep this puck alive. And Condra just centers it to the net. And I believe it goes off the right skate of Bouillon. The pass was intended for Zach Smith. And a great job keeping this puck in at the blue line. And as Bouillon tries to stick his skate out to block it, he just nicks it enough to fool Carey Price, I believe, right through the wickets. Right through the wickets, indeed. The blade on the outside, all right. And it's 3-1 on water in again. Price watching this one go high. Might have got a piece of it. Went over the glass. And the Sens come hard. And they're leading Montreal. 3-1. to Sheer, but as of late, there's been a lot more goals going in on the Montreal net. And I'm not saying they're all his fault for sure. But nonetheless, he's a byproduct of it. And this Ottawa team has seemed to have had his number. You look at the playoffs last year where they they beat him on a number of occasions and he never really seemed to get in a rhythm and eventually got hurt in that series. And of course, this year they won the game 4-1, to one, a game that was in Ottawa. And tonight they struck three times in the first period. This last road trip, they just came off of six games. They were averaging almost 3.6 goals against. And that's coming off of a team that went on the road with about a 2.2 goal against average. So they're certainly getting a little sloppier in their end and maybe Carey isn't as sharp as he was. 14 seconds apart, these goals by Ottawa. Stone, his first, Condra, his fourth. 3 1 on a wall leading. Bork is after the puck. Comes in, speeding in there to the corner, but taken out of the play. And Carlson takes over behind the goal. Not much room to move in there. Yamelin stops it at the far side, backhands it in for Bork again. Bork had to stop, pulled away from Cowan, got in behind the net with the setup. Quick shot, that's blocked, it comes wide of the net. Markov comes in off the blue line and stabs at it. Four players look for it. Markov got it. Again, he has it, but he's upended. That's going to be a penalty against Ottawa. Markov coming out with trip. And Montreal will go on the power play, and they need it. Town is going off for tripping. Now with five minutes to go in the period here, this is a chance for Montreal to get back on the board as Jared Cowan just inadvertently sticks his stick in there. And I know you don't mean to do it, but at the end of the day, he's reaching for the puck. But nonetheless, he trips Markov. It's a good call. And the faceoff will be to the right of Anderson. And Montreal will try to get that power play that's been red hot the last few games of that road trip. See if they can light the lamp here and get this game tightened up. for three in the power play in this game in this first period coming back was Markov he has Subban there takes the pass Subban the return pass and so again stick handles a little bit throws it off to Markov they get the zone and up comes Deharnay he stopped it nearly gave it away to want to a break and lost it anyway Pajo was there got it outside the zone and down the ice 4.35 left to play in the first period, 3-1 on a wall lead, shots are nine apiece. Canadians don't get in onside, they have to back off. Subban did that, sees Gallagher going, oh, oh. keeps going himself, trying to pass to Gallagher, but away ahead of him. Drive a shot out away, didn't get out, Subban faked the shot, the other way the shot. Priest to post on the outside and another penalty coming, this time to Montreal. From a scramble at the side of the net, Maybe two will go on this. Oh, wait, wait. Gallagher, it looks like, is going to get the first one if there's two, but Gallagher's definitely getting the first one. Griba gave him a good shot, Bob, but I'm not sure if they're going to give him one or not. But Gallagher, that's where he likes to hang out. He likes to be in the front of the net. He likes to aggravate the goaltender. He's not a big guy, but he plays big, and there his stick comes up and catches Anderson in the mask. And the reaction from Anderson, and we'll watch it here as he swings around. Oh, it's his elbow or glove. And the referee the, on the goal line picked that up right away. Anderson had some choice words, and so did Griba. And that will negate the penalty that the Ottawa Senators had taken. A little bit of a push there at the side of the net by one of the Ottawa players, but nothing was called. The Canadians get the penalty. It's Gallagher gone, 4-12 left, and now Ottawa leading 3-1. to one. A great chance to really open up on the Canadians in this first period. Ottawa winning the draw, passing it around well. Turris along the line, and that pass didn't work. Kept in, though. Now it bounces out. And Chenna goes down the far side with another carry in. 
tried to give it to him. Now Chenyuk fights for it. Eller comes in to help. Took his man, but the puck was loose. Cleared out of the zone by CC. Torres threw it to the left side and heads for the net. Pass missed everybody in there. The Canadians hang on to it. That's Gal Chenyuk. He fed it around the net for Subban. He'll return it to Gal Chenyuk. Skating away in the line. Comes to center. All the way yeah. himself. He wants to do it himself, and he comes in the high slot. Was kind of twisted around there and couldn't get a shot. Back the other way for Ottawa is Bobby Ryan. Gets a quick shot away, Price jams the pads. And he's got it, but barely. 3.23 left in the period. Well, Bobby Ryan, of course, a tough couple days and being left off the U.S. Olympic team. And again, people don't realize how bad the players want to be on that team. And when you're not selected, it hurts. It really does bother you. The first game against Winnipeg back, the first half of that game, you could tell he was in a, bit, a bit of a fog. Tonight, skating much better. Good shot. That's what he could bring to the table. He's got that good heart wrist shot. And he's done that for Ottawa this season. That was a great move by Brian Murray. Bobby Ryan. On there now, trying to get a stick to the puck, but can't. Cleared out of the zone by the Canadians. Moan. He went high over there. It's okay. He's in play. Carlson lost the puck center. What a save by Anderson. Carlson lost it. Moen had a great chance. Ottawa the other way. Right after the rebound was Bobby Ryan. Stopped by Carey Price. And again, Carlson up. Dropped it back. Smith shot. Hit a stick. Went wide of the net. Slapped around the goal by Conacher. On this side, Carlson moving up. Gave it away with that pass in front. And Moen. Has it under control and lifts a high one down the center, stopped by Phillips. And then he lost it. 30 seconds left 30 seconds, in the Gallagher 30. penalty. Canadians, even though shorthanded, had a great chance. Conacher comes on. Carlson from the line. And to Conacher again. Back out to Carlson. Looks over the far side. No one over there. McCulloch threw it to the corner. And the Canadians have a chance, but in quickly was McCulloch. Picked it up well, got it back in front. Centering pass intercepted. Another chance to Benajan. And up to Phillips. That was off the goalpost. Stayed out. Penalty over, and there's Gallagher with a chance. He's going to go himself. Gallagher right in. And he was checked from behind by Carlson. Great play by the Ottawa defenseman to catch him. Zavanajan the other way. Brother Hishi opened up here. McCulloch gets a shot away. Pikes a big rebound. Gallagher again on the puck, turning back up ice. Pass onto the skate of Markov. Beautiful play. Bayerne! And the shot by Pacioretty is high and wide of the net. Barely missed that top corner. Minute 35 left to play in the first period. Great action here in the nine minutes of the opening frame. Ottawa leading three to one. Canadians bewildered a bit with this Ottawa team tonight. That's a nice in call against Montreal. Out of frustration, down the ice it goes. They'll bring it all the way back. Holy cow, where do you start? What a period. 22 shots, a ton of mistakes and turnovers, which has led to a real exciting period, Bob. Off the post is Chris Phillips. Out of the box comes Gallagher. Carlson has a good handle on the puck, sees him coming, then miscues it. In comes Gallagher. Nice defensive play by Carlson to knock it off the stick. Chances at both ends. That's great hockey to watch. Andre got loose on the faceoff. Has a chance to play it. Carlson moves up. Seems to be everywhere on the puck. Carlson, no difference. Long shot from the line by Condra was blocked. And Indians take off. Giada tried a long shot, deflected high over the net. Bork is up there. He picked it up. In for Giada. He's bodied. Out of the play. Shot ahead by Carlson. And Smith got it out across yeah, the goal line and down the ice. We're in the final minute of this first period. Subban wants to do a trick or two. There's two. He's got some room. Coming in on goal. Shot by Subban off the glass. The other way for Ottawa. Down the ice, MacArthur lost it, but Torres behind him. Brought it in, gave it to him. The shot stopped by Price. Had a big save by Carey Price. Bouillon takes off. 34 seconds remaining in the period. Both goalies outstanding. And even though we've seen four goals in this first 20 minutes, we're not done yet, of course. Canadians have the coverage. Josh Georges. Backhands it away. Did it get out? Barely to center. Phillips slams it back in. 15 seconds left in the period. Price played it to the corner. Canadians get it to the line. That out kept in by Conacher turning. Josh George just couldn't stop him. Back 
near the line again. That's CeCe coming on. Little backhand pass won't work. And you hear the siren ending that first period. And an entertaining first period it was. Ottawa jumping to an early lead, 13 seconds, greening. Rear tied it. Then Stone with his first ever. And then Condor with his fourth of the season. Shots were 14, Ottawa 10, Montreal. It's 3-1. Ottawa leads. Period for the Senators. A 3-1 lead as they look for a fourth straight win. Montreal 0 for 4 on the power play in that period. Bob Cole, Gary Calley have our call. Gentlemen. Add Chris Phillips to the Stone scoring play. Cassian had one assist. And now the veteran Chris Phillips has been added on that scoring play for Ottawa. So 3-1 Senators starting off the second period. In deep into that center of his zone right off the bat. Gianna missed it, however. It's cleared out by Greeny. Gallops away to center, skating well. Holds it off to the right, and the defenseman up on the play. Griba took the shot from the angle, and right to Carey Price. We saw four goals in that first period, I don't think we were expecting that with the type of goaltending we have in this game. It was also a bit of rough stuff for the test of stuff between these two teams. And I believe Ottawa got the bulk of the hits that would hit Montreal 12 to 4. And that's the game plan when you play Montreal is try to be physical with them, try to take them off their game. We saw that in the series last year in the playoffs. And you've got to think that Montreal has to learn from that and stick to what they do best. Use their transition, use their speed, use their ability to get on the on the rush. Here's Lars Eller in to take the face off. Gallagher and Pat are ready. A little change in the Canadian line. They get it out. All right. And a nice call against Montreal. And it comes right back. You've shown us your prized possessions. How much will our buyers pay? Find out on the all-new series Four Rooms premiering tomorrow night at 8 on CBC TV. So 29 seconds into the second period. Another face-off in the Montreal zone to the left of Carey. Price. He does a banner jab. Can't tie it up long enough. Yamelin goes around the net for Montreal. Looks ahead. Backhands the puck up the center. Conacher easily knocked that down. Zabana Jad carried on. He was bumped trying to go in by Yamelin. He goes in front of the net to cover. In front of Price and now takes the pass to Miller. Right up to Gallagher. He just threw it out of the zone, but now on it. Gallagher and Pacioretty coming in with a shot. Quickly, as he can do, like not many people, let it go in a hurry like that, and Craig Anderson was right there. Well, he's got 19 goals on the season, and he has been hot of late. Eight goals in his last nine games, so you want that guy shooting the puck, and that's exactly what he does, and Anderson holds his ground. The great part about all this is Right in the stomach, no rebound, no second opportunities for any Canadians. Miller again on the faceoff. Bork is to his right now. Now Chenyuk on the other side, and the puck won by Ottawa. And turning with it is Jared Cowan. Lift to the high one down the center. Condor didn't see it till the last second. It was enough to back the puck in behind to the Montreal net. Cowan stopped there at the blue line, did not control it, kept in for greening. He lost it against Subban, and the Canadians hard to get going with Ottawa forechecking, but now Subban to center. Handle the pass with some difficulty, mind you, but did Kimberl it and shot it in. Played away on the boards by Smith, lost it, Canadians on it. Looking for an early goal. They're down 3-1 to one to Ottawa, and Greening got the puck ahead for Ottawa. In on the boards, Condra chases it. George has got back in front of him, gave it to Subban, again, he takes his time and goes back to Georges. Up the center, lifted one in over that line, but it got high. Just sent the blue line over the boards at the bench. Senators were on a couple of their veteran players, Chris Neal and Jason Spencer, the captain, not in the lineup. There was some speculation that he may be in the lineup tonight, but it looks like that wasn't going to happen. Saw some doctors, apparently, and decided that it wasn't the right time to come back in, but the line has done pretty good. Kind of put together, Conacher and Zibanejad seem to form some chemistry, and Leon McAuliffe has had a bit of a slow year due to some knee issues, and the future for him certainly is unknown if those knees are going to hold up, but right now he seems to be skating pretty good with those two young guys. Three wins in a row coming into tonight's game. 
Howard back lost it to DeHarnay. DeHarnay is caught. Howard took it. The puck away from him. Stabbed at it over there in the corner. Canadians Gallagher took a whack at it. Missed it. Down the ice it goes. Turris has a chance to catch up. Yevelin got back. But it's centered. Right in front of the net. McCaffrey couldn't control it. He's coming in. Had to take it in the backhand. Good work by Turris. So a long shot. Look out. It was deflected. And Price saw it in time. He had to move to stop that one. Pacioretty comes on for Montreal. In on an angle. Hooked it back a little bit. Made a good play to get back. Now sets it up. The shot. Right of the net. Murray came up all alone and took the pass. And had a good shot going away. It was low and hard, but just wide of the post. Cowan behind the net steps in front of Craig Anderson. Cut away cleanly, and that just is shot down to the Montreal zone. No icing, both teams changing. Three minute mark coming up in three seconds. That's poking up by Stone again. Coming in on goal. He tried to poke it by on the short side. Another shot. Doesn't reach him this time, and the play is stopped. Stone's certainly been the most proficient in a minute and 40 seconds. He's got his first National Hockey League goal here tonight. And here's the shot from Carlson. DeHarnay doesn't get in the shooting lane at all, but this thing would have been a high stick. This would not have counted. Stick well above the crossbar, but nonetheless, Carey Price has got to be sure he gets down and makes the save. And Montreal Canadiens defense retrieves the rebound. But good job hustle by Torres to get down the ice and keep that puck alive. And the faceoff won by Ottawa, back to the line. That long shot fired onto a stick by Dryba. Didn't get anywhere near the net. The Pellets dumps it in. The clock was back first. Shot it around the boards. Ottawa on the move. At center ice is McCulloch. Shot the puck to the corner. Had to back off, though. That line is trying to get off. Been on for a bit. Canadians. Just barely cleared the puck outside the line, and the clock was waiting back there to set it up. Gets it back again, looks ahead, goes the other way with it. Now they get going, drive it, goes back a third time, Wood. And the top shoots the puck in, Price leaving the net. Josh George is on it for Montreal. Right ahead, they can't get going with any second pass. Cut it on all with the checking as they try to come at him. The Sins dump it in. Picked up quickly by Smith, who got it back. Smith at the side of the net. He's carried a little bit, but got loose. Along the boards with it. Gianna took it from him. It was given away in there, though. And a long shot fired wide by CC. Canadians, Gianna looks ahead. Nobody opens, so he just got rid of it. Again, Gianna faked the shot outside the line and played it in, but CC turned back. He and Chris Phillips. Phillips got it out to center ice, and here comes Greening again, skating well. He'll get a shot. No, he won't. Had his stick lifted the last second, trying to shoot it 20 feet from the net. Back up there for Montreal. The defenseman Markov lost it. Heading for the net, and Yemelin has to come back. Greening will come up on the four-check against the Canadian defenseman. Got him beaten by a long pass to Gallagher. His pass hit a skate. Sends checking well, and it's shot to center. Back on the puck and coming in hard to the net. Was Stone again. Couldn't quite get an angle on the backhand. Kept it in, though, and gave it away on that cross ice pass. They are going shot it away. Now turn that for the brakes on. Canadians were changing. Ottawa, a chance to move it back out quickly as the pace picks up again. And Bouillon comes back for the Canadians. That'll be an icing call against Ottawa. Fourth lines on the ice and an unfortunate turnover by Mark Stone, but he cut back out of fear to stop it from getting towards the net. And faceoffs are so important. And Thomas Placanitz plays against some of the best lines in the National Hockey League all night long. But his faceoffs have really, really dropped off here. He has struggled tonight mightily, four for ten. But look at the last three games; it just has not been his time in the circles. Keller. As Bork again on his right, Galchenyuk the other way, wins the draw back. Long high shot by Douglas Murray is way wide of the net, hoping somebody would pick it up. Canadians do keep it in. Can't get any decent passes going though. Ottawa all back and checking well. Bouillon shot it in deep. That's Bork on it back there. Handles it well, gives it to Galchenyuk on this side. He tries to come out, but he's checked all the way to the line. Swings away with those big strides, centered it. Keller has to pick it up and go away with it. Then he shot it in behind the net for Galchenyuk. 
He's caught back there by Cowan. Now Chenyuk left it behind the net. Sweep around chance by Bork didn't work and Eller was with him. They're back down the ice and the Canadians with Ottawa changing had a chance but they were slow getting back to pick it up. Nearing the seven minute mark. Period number two in Montreal. Ottawa leading three to one. All the goals coming in the first period. The thought. Tipped at center, so no icing. It's into the side of the net. Bouillon back in a hurry. Had to get back quickly. So Ottawa is coming on hard. Good forechecking by the Senators team, but now the Canadians. Down the center is Bourneval. Got it in and left it for the backhand. Bowen just flipped it at the goalie, Craig Anderson. You're not going to be at him from that angle. And with that soft shot. They're all in there meeting with them that don't start anything now. We're going to take a break and cool down. Like Crust wanted to go. They call the play. Ottawa still leads three to one. Back time now for our Hockey Night bio presented by Subway Restaurants. What a career for Chris Phillips, the 35-year-old former first overall pick. Tonight marks his 82nd game in the regular season versus Montreal. That is a full season. That's what his great memories were playing against Montreal. He said his very first game. That's October 1st, 1997 here at the Bell Center. That's his first game in the NHL wearing number five. And then two months later, back to the familiar number four. That is your OT winner beating Andy Moe. 1997, Chris Phillips, the young man right there enjoying himself, and tonight he has an assist enjoying himself yet again. Bob. Yes, he does on the stone goal, the first of his career. That assist was added. Here comes Smith getting in loose. Shot goal and an angle shot wide of the net on the short side. Stopped out there by Griva. He played it in deep again. Ottawa spreading out. Mathot shoved the puck ahead. Condra threw it over in front of Green. Back off to the far side of McKenna's is there to bring it away. Gianna takes his pass, gets it over the line, off the boards, tried to set it up and does! Backhander by the defenseman Markov who caught up to the play, then shot it in front, and out comes Condra. Yes, Smith on his left, greening on his right, but he had headed off to the bench on a change. Condra kept going after the puck, centered it. Cleared off the boards and back near the line. Canadians break it up and get out of the zone. And it's a shot from center ice. Off the boards for the count. He's back. And now the defenseman carries on. Cece. Ottawa can't get going in that rush. Gallagher brings it in for Montreal. It was checked by Phillips trying to go around the big defenseman and knock down. Canadians keep it in at the line goal. Giannis. Uh, brother Deharnay tried to center, got in front, and getting away with it was Conacher. Got to center, he's alone up there, coming in. Winds up for the shot, that's off the stick and away wide of the net. And the Canadians start up again. They're not allowed to get going by this Ottawa team. They're down two goals to them. 11.50 left in the second. Long pass doesn't work for Gallagher. Offside is Deharnay, and now we mentioned Douglas Murray. Might had an assist on the Breer goal. They've finally had it. Douglas Murray. A great transition by the Montreal Canadiens here, and Gionta lays this one out. You got to be aware of the defenseman joining the play, especially in this game. You got so many of them. And then Gallagher gets over the line on the veteran defenseman. Phillips stands right up, knocks him down, and lets the puck go back and lets his partner retrieve it. Good smart play. So that only goal by Montreal, Breer six from Moan and Murray now. Still 3-1 Ottawa. Subban shoots it in. He played just about 10 minutes in the first period. Carlson had him beat a little over 10 minutes for Ottawa. Long shot from Sarai, so Robert outside the blue line and stopped. Deflected away from the net, looked dangerous for a second. A good rush there. Shot by Bobby Ryan. Coming out, cuts the angle on Turos. Kind of hang on to it. Pretty well had no room to shoot past the goalie, and he drilled it right at him. Nice tracking job by Carey Price. Eric Carlson always dangerous to lay the puck on the net. Good rush by Ryan. He's going to lay this thing over to who else? The defenseman joining the rush off the backside of this, and that's going to be Carlson who's going to get it right here. He lays it seam wise right across the tourist and tourist knows where he's going to look he finds the spot but good job by price to come right down and across body straight up 
Makes the save. Canadians control this face off to Markov. Long pass goes astray, but no icing. Waved off immediately. Hit somebody at center ice. Bust is up to try and keep it in and does. Canadians fight for it behind the net. That's Bornemal with Hall down. Play goes right on. The Canadians get control of the puck. Back to the line. The other one shot. Tip the wide of the goal. On the other side, Markov had moved up, hit a skate. Sends pick it up, and it's got to be cleared to buy him a thought. That comes down the ice for an icing call against Ottawa. 10.40 to go in the second. Well, a lot of criticisms over the U.S. Olympic team selections. And boy, just wait till Canada's come out. Bobby Ryan, one of those guys. And when you look at all the Americans and what they've done since 2008, 2009, Bobby Ryan right up there with Phil Kessel, ranked number two. And certainly, I think a lot of people would have thought that he would have been part of Team USA, but unfortunately not. And life will move on, and he will go on to score many more goals and points in his career. Canada's team will be named Tuesday. Here, Ottawa takes off again as Mark Stone coming off the boards. And a good move in there to get loose and sets one up. to Zabanajan, he missed the net. Another setup missed by Ottawa. Price down, puck comes right to Gallagher. Tossed a little short pass ahead to get it up and down the ice. Patch ready, tried to go in to pick it up, but Town got in front of him. The other way for Ottawa, good play by Gallagher coming back. And his hand up on it, knocked it down. It was on the offside anyway, 10-13 to go in the period. Every shift Mark Stone has been on the ice, and you heard Don Cherry talking about him, every shift he has made something happen. With his skating, his driving, he's got great vision. He's a wonderful passer, and here he's going to find Zibanejad right in the slot. And I think he should have just ripped it right away. The longer you wait, you give Kerry Price the advantage as he reads you out. But Mark Stone, I mean, he hasn't played a lot tonight, but every single shift, he's been a difference maker out there. And of course, with his first National Hockey League goal in the first. That made it 2-1 at the time. Chris Phillips in on that goal. Backhand of this shot. Out the center ice. The Canadians have to come back and regroup again. Giada had to fire it back deep in his own zone. Shot around the net. And just up to center ice. But here's Giada trying to get loose. He was grabbed from behind and spun around. Couldn't get away to get a shot. Phillips lifted the high one down inside the Montreal line. Douglas Murray back, got it ahead. Canadians dump it in. They're not making any changes. And Ottawa back to pick it up. Came off Smith to center ice. Another Canadians. McKenna's comes in on the forecheck on Phillips, but he turned to go off to the bench. Finally, the Canadians change it. Yemelin back in his own zone. Chased in there quickly by McCulloch to Ottawa. That's ready. Couldn't get it out. Cleanly. Markov had to play it over here to Yemelin. Right through the middle with the pass that's tipped up to the line and Town waited for that. Took it away from Gallagher. And Ottawa backing off with nine minutes left in the period. Still with a two-goal spread on the Canadians. Puck over the boards at the Ottawa bench stopping the play. Greening, Stone, and Condra. Rear scoring for Montreal. 3-1. Senators lead. 3-1 here, still Ottawa leading. The shots in the second period are even, three apiece. We've got 8.55 left on the clock. And here we are with a face-off outside the Montreal blue line. Deharnay against Turris. The latter winning the face-off. And his team getting it in. Arthur couldn't pick it up. Canadians. Get a loose puck and get going. Pacioretty decided to shoot it in there from center ice. Anderson leaving the net, hoping to clear. Didn't do it. Centering pass to Pacioretty. The defenseman moving up. George's shot missed the goal. Low and wide. Subban. Pacioretty deflected wide. George is up. Tapped at it. It'll be Cowan who'll clear the puck out for Ottawa to center ice. Subban. Ahead to Pacioretty, who lost it. MacArthur needs it, then coming on for Ottawa. Bobby Rhines gets it in front. MacArthur ricocheted the one off the post on the short side. Ottawa coming close on that dandy rush by Bobby Ryan. Canadians clear the puck. They're nearly down another goal. They're down two as it is, with eight minutes left of the period. Can't get it going. Greening got the first goal at 13 seconds. That set the stage. 
Honecker is up there for checking. Sends her against the Canadians on every puck. Eller will stop. Over here to Bouillon. Little backhand pass, that'll give him the center, and Eller can stick handle himself to win. Played it on the board, trotting around with the defenseman. Tried to play it back, got away from the thought first. Then he was caught and rolled back to the blue line nearly. Kept in by Galchenyuk. Along the blue line with a pass. Coming on, Bouillon cutting in, sending it. Tied up in front of the net, everybody. And there's got to be a penalty because of a, a holding call against Ottawa. Big I, crowd in on that one. I was just mentioning to the guys down on the truck, I thought Mathot did a great job in front of warding off that puck coming to the front of the net. I know he's not happy with the call. We'll have a look at it to see if maybe he did a little more than I thought. I thought it was just good defensive position by Mathot coming in here, but maybe he gets his hand or whatever on the stick of Eller and the call goes down anyway and the Canadians will go on the power play. But I'll tell you, seconds earlier, this almost was a 4-1 game as Clark MacArthur cruised right down the left side and just pointed off the inside goal post. Canadian's power play, seventh in the NHL. Over 21% and in this game against Ottawa, they're 0 for 4. And up comes Zach Smith, causing a problem against the Canadians, trying to get organized on the power play. Here they come. Subban, a little speed coming up over the line. Trying to cut in, sharp angle for him there, so he keeps going. Around the net, backs it up, that's a good play, because he takes it up the line and the shot. The in front of the net, and covering up in front and clearing it out. Honecker was right there in front of the goal, along with Cowan, and they get it out. Kanitz brings it back in on the Subban pass. Put it off the boards behind the net. Kanitz plays it back again to the blue line to Subban. He had to wait a bit and got it in there. Briere was after it, he missed it, and again it's cleared out and down the ice. By Conacher. 105 left in the penalty. The Canis could barely make contact. The goalie, Anderson, decides to shoot at the center. Subban knocked it down. The play is stopped. And we're gonna, we're gonna wait. The, the referee is calling a penalty. No, a, a face-off back. A high stick, I think, made contact. When you're on the power play and you do that. You get uh, the face off in your own zone. Well, P.K. Subban has a heck of a rush here, and that's what I love about his game. Such a strong player, especially with the puck. Big body. He circles the wagon trains here. Nice little reverse to Placanitz, and then he's going to pump this to the net right there. Good job, good shot, but Montreal just can't get a hold of the rebound. One of the few rebounds that Anderson has let loose. Just the one shot on goal so far on this fifth power play of the game for Canadians. Get the zone on the link. Ottawa's checking well, the four of them back there. Subban's quick pass. And now that's broken up. Pacioretty takes it, looks for Subban, goes the other way with it. And Bouillon had to hurry to get it in there to Deharnay. On the outside of that four man box, and that's the best job done by Ottawa, filling this off again. Gallagher, he's tough to deal with. He got the play back. Subban over here to Pacioretty. Comes up a step, no shot. Subban had to take it in the backhand. So here's Pacioretty's shot, deflected by Deharnay, and it went out of play. He'll be back. It's time for the Crown Royal Icebreaker. Why not try Crown Royal Maple on the Rocks? Crown Royal, the official whiskey partner of the NHL. And on the, this power play for the Canadians, still just a one shot on goal and only 15 seconds left. Ottawa doing a great job killing these penalties tonight. And Montreal's made some adjustments. They're, they're, they're throwing the puck the three quarters around the boards to try to get away from that flood trap that Ottawa's using on the penalty kill. They're trying to move it to some different places. They're bringing their, their one forward up high towards the center of the ice in the blue line. It just nothing's working right now. Bouillon shoots it in. And Georges, the new defenseman. Here's Georges. And now Bouillon decides to pass it off. It's going to be cleared by the Sens out to center ice. Conker made sure it got out. Habs back in. The penalty has been served. Just a one shot on goal by Canadians on the power play that time. Still 3 1 Ottawa. Conker sets it up. Dumped in by Carlson. Ottawa changes, Canadians slow getting started, but down the center is Eller. Shot it hard on the boards, and he's going to stride in there hoping to get to it. Won't do it. 
Out comes MacArthur for Ottawa. Racing down with him is Ryan heading for the net, but the move at the line. And Ryan is offside. 4.43 remaining in the second. 3-1, it remains Ottawa. They're still out watching this game at the Bell Center in Montreal. Cold Saturday night. Minus 10, minus 15. They say it's going to get a little warmer tomorrow. Minus 5, something like that. But bitterly cold in these areas. Hockey weather. Sure. <laughs> I don't know if it's outdoor rink hockey weather, but it's hockey weather. 4.43 remaining in the period. Ottawa leads Canadians 3-1. to one. Goals by Greeny, Stone, and Condra. The air scored in the first period for the Canadians. No scoring so far here in the second. Ottawa with the puck in that Montreal zone, playing it around the net. Markov is on it, trying to get away. He has checked and lost it. And a quick shot by Ryan is right on. The block is saved by Price. Canadians come close to giving up another one right there. Bornemal comes off the boards. Flipped it on the boards himself to center ice. Or onside coming in, no, they're not. Offside was pressed. Couldn't quite get back to the blue line. Well, PK had a similar turnover in the first period when he came around the net and he ran into Gionta and turned over the puck. And here, Turris just stays on him and he gives him a little whack and that whack dislodges the puck. And right away, you know, when PK comes around that net, one guy is not going to be able to do it. You're going to need two. You've got to swarm him with a couple of guys and hope that he just hangs on to it too long. Like right there, way back him up there for Carey Price to save. So the Canadians have to regroup from their own zone again. Markov, carrying the puck a lot tonight, comes in for Kansas shot of stop. Low and weak, actually. Greer couldn't pick it up. The Canadians are forced to come back. Under four minutes remaining in the second period. A backhand pass. That won't get him going. It's back in there for Conacher. Looks over in front, decides to shoot it. Price was careful with that. And the Canadians turn it back up ice. That long pass. For the defenseman again, Markov stops. Comes to the net with a shot coming up. That's blocked. Another one right to Craig Anderson. And he hangs on to it. But pretty good play by Markov. Good observation there, Bob. Markov has been traveling a lot with the puck. You normally notice P.K. Subban, but tonight both those guys have been involved in the offense. Markov tries to fake this and fool Zavanajad going down, but Zavanajad does a good job of staying with it. And so does Markov as he picks it up. Watch this rear skate. He's going to lose it there and uses his feet to get it back to his stick. He gets a pretty good shot on net. Deharnay is back on with Gallagher to his right. Not sure ready on the other side. The puck comes all the way back outside the line, though. Bouillon. Slapped in by Douglas Marie off the boards. Gallagher up quickly. He's pinned there, won't get his stick on it, but he kicked it loose. Then he was knocked down. And Zach Smith for Ottawa got it ahead to Greening. He stick handles his way to center, backhands the puck in. And the Canadians were back. Price played it a little bit. And then his defenseman got it away to center ice. It went by the top down the ice, so no icing. He got a little piece of it. Zach Smith will turn it back up. Gave it to Condor to Greening. The other way, that's batted out of the air. How high was that? Too high for the Canadian player to play it, so it's allowed to bounce down, and Condor comes on for Ottawa. Quick a hit, trying to get a deep, and then a second hit. That knocked him flat, but he's okay. Got up in a hurry. Carlson lost the puck. Pacioretty couldn't control it, though, to get going. Bouillon. Rink wide, and Murray shot it ahead all the way down the ice. Carlson back, skates right in front of his goal. Comes out with a neat play. Turris goes to the right side with it and takes off to the net. He's got MacArthur coming up too. And Price catches the puck and hangs on with two minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the second. Well, it was a rough first period for the partnership of Georges and Murray, so there was a change made. And Bouillon now Georges Mur joins Murray on the second period on this unit on the backside. And a good, solid, stiff shoulder into Condra and knocks him down on the ice and helps him to retrieve the puck and get out of the zone. Condra, of course, with that goal off Bouillon skate in the first period. Two hard hits by the Canadian defenseman. Ottawa leading 3-1. No scoring in the second period yet. Ottawa battling away against Subban. 
Keeps the puck in. Savannah Jad in wide of the goal with a long pass. Nobody could reach it. Subban played it ahead. Canadians finally up over center. Gao Chen Look at the strides on Gao Chen And the backhand and knocked down in front by Anderson. Eller just turned and whipped it at the goal. And Anderson saw it made a nice save. Savannah Jad dumps it in for Ottawa. Subban right there. It's about to that turns. Looks like he's going off on the change. Subban right through the middle. The center ice, they get in there, and Galchenyuk didn't know where it was. Came down behind him, he did see it, and eventually along the boards, he and Ellick. Galchenyuk coming in, passes off, and the shot off the goal post. Bork set up, hit the post. 1.15 left in the period. Would have been a huge goal for Montreal. Bobby Ryan now down there, sets it up. Big save by Carey Price. Off Clark McCarker, who was set up. Beautifully by Ryan and drilled a hard shot. This is the part of Bobby Ryan's game that I, I, I that's why I was kind of surprised he didn't make U.S. It's not just scoring goals. He's a really good passer. He finds his line mates. What a tee up for MacArthur to let that thing go and a huge save by Carey Price as Montreal Canadiens have kind of stormed the castle a bit earlier in this shift with Bork hitting the goalpost. They saw off to the left of Price now. Keeping the Canadians within reach with that save. Long shot wide of the net by Driver. Canadians on the puck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Couldn't quite reach it. Subban banked it off the boards behind the net and gets it to turn. Long pass up over the line in the final minute of the second period. Ottawa had a chance to score a moment ago, and before that, the Canadians came close. With Bork hitting the goalpost. This one caught by Price and hanging on with 42.7 seconds remaining. Well, Craig Anderson, of course, his last four outings have been looking a lot more like the way he did last year when he posted that 941 save percentage. And, and if you're going to score another two or three goals on him, you're, you're going to have to find the net pretty soon or you're going to run out of time. He's been outstanding the last little stretch of save percentage over 950. And, when he gets hot and when he gets going, he is very, very difficult to score goals on, and he looks like he's in the zone right now. Oh, he's in the zone all right. He's made not only saves, but really tough, tough saves. Canadians, just the one goal in the game. Ottawa has three. Montreal, no way to go. Just shoot at the center and something might happen. Let's see. In over the line, Pacioretty has a turn. Back. Near the line, lost it. Good checking by Kyle Turris. And then they get it out to MacArthur. Just rolled it ahead a little bit. 18 seconds left in the period. Ryan comes up. Lost it against Markov. And Indians running out of time here. Gallagher got to it but couldn't make the play. So MacArthur just passed it back inside his own blue line. And they check the clock. Once it does, and that's it for the second period. No scoring in the period and the shots Ottawa 7 Montreal 7 after two periods 3-1 Ottawa leads welcome back to the Bell Center in Montreal I'm Bob Cole along with Gary Galley and David Amber and the Hockey Night in Canada crew a sellout crowd and the Senators are leading the Canadians 3-1 here's the third Markov coming back in his own zone to start it off. In Yemelin are the two defensemen. Markov is checked, so he lifts a high one out and down the ice. That'll be a nice in call. They bring it right back. Here's David Amber. All right, Bob. Well, I had a chance to talk to Habs assistant coach Gerard Gallant at the uh, end of the second period. He said, we definitely have to open things up a little bit. Senators are not giving us much room to play with. We need more traffic in front of Anderson. We didn't have our lights in the first period. We got our lights now. We got to use them. Bob? Here he is right. We were talking about that in the booth, Gary and I. And we all agree then that the Canadians, in order to make this a game, have to open up a bit and hope for the best. Ottawa is playing well. Killed off penalties, checking well all night, got the early lead. We still have it, three to one. Condra dropped it back for Greening, who got the first goal. 13 seconds into the game. And on the puck is Condra. Greening right behind him, just in case. Condra goes the other way with it, over here on this side. And the Ottawa Sands are on top of the Canadians, they're removed. Canadians get it out, and down the ice. Both teams are changing. Still in the first minute. 
The clock lost it, trying to lead the attack himself. And he regained control, though, and get it out to center ice, and George has stopped it. Subban has to wait till they're back on side. He does. DeHarnay in. He has Pacioretty right there. DeHarnay looks back to the line. The Subban is covered right away. In behind the net, Pacioretty picks it up, swings around the goal all the way back to the line. Backed it up, and Grava read that beautifully. But here's Subban stopping it, trying to get loose for a shot, and he won't do it. Headed off the boards in there for Gallagher, who tapped it in to Pacioretty, and he has a tough time against Turris. Gets it ahead, it gets out the center ice, and the Canadians have to come back. Subban, a little bit of room to cut to the middle. Decides to come to the boards, heads for the net. It's tipped by him on the shot from the line by Pat Charetti. The goalie Anderson hangs on to the puck. Well, it's a fairly routine save for Craig Anderson right there, but some of them haven't been that way. We've had a few shots through quite a bit of traffic, but they've fair, fairly been clean lanes for Craig Anderson to look down. That's why Gerard Gallant is saying to David Amber, we need some bodies in front of him because he's in the zone, and when you're in the zone, the puck looks like a big baseball coming in, and he's getting a good look at all of them. McCann, it's ready to win the draw back and up steps Douglas Murray again around the net looks out He's checked back there by Cowan still hangs on to it a bit and then got it back from Cowan Cowan stays with him Murray's strong on the puck back there, but he can't move anywhere against big Cowan Gets the puck tried to get up in front didn't but here's Breer scores! Breer gets his second goal Murray on that scoring play by Breer. Murray was great. <laughs> it's like trying to move a cement truck. Dump truck full of gravel. I mean, he is such a big man and a big body when he assumes position. I gotta tell you, Jared Cowan is no slouch. He's a big man himself. He can't push him off the puck. Good on Murray. Now he's bailing out of there. And Breer finds the quiet zone. Find the quiet zone. Carlson gets drawn, magneted towards the puck. And Briere picks it from the backhand to the forehand. Not many guys have the kind of hands to be able to do that. That is a beautiful goal from Daniel Briere. The Canadians are right back in it. Yes, they are. You know they talked about it in the intermission. They had to get a quick start. Be careful, but get a quick start. Well, they got a quick start. And the defenseman Murray was up on the play, doing it all. Briere scored. Condra flipped it in. Conra swung around and got the puck again, tossed it in wide of the net. Maybe Price got a piece of it. Another shot to him. He stopped it. Big rebound, but Bowen tipped it out to center. And more of all was checked. Canadians are changing. Riemann at Mark coming up in 25 seconds as Phillips comes on to center ice for Ottawa. Good rush by Phillips to get the center to put it in there. So no icing. But Bork will turn for Montreal. Ahead to Galchenyuk, sliding in hard. A shot, he's bumped it over there as he failed on the shot attempt. Got it again around and then a slipping pass. And banging away at that was Bork, but Anderson stopped it. And the Canadians come ever so close to tying the game. Greer gets him close with a seventh from Pekanitz and Douglas Murray at 157. What you do not want to do if you're Ottawa is throw pucks blindly. Here, Torres throws this across. There's nobody really there. Instead of taking it deeper, holding it deep in the zone, Montreal transitions so well. And all of a sudden, on a poor pass, they're down in your end. And this becomes another scoring chance, almost from the same spot Briar scored in. Very, very close. The Canadians all fired up after that Briar second goal of the game. Pat already knocked down. Dernay on the puck. Can't get loose, though. Pacioretty again tried to kick it loose. A pass comes all the way back to Subban. Shot stop. Big rebound. And then a roll to the line. And diving for it was Bobby Ryan to get it out. Subban is charged up to go to center. He had to stop right there before shooting it in. Around the net, the Canadians forechecking a little bit harder. And Gleiba got the puck ahead. And Torres goes down the ice with it. And he had hoped that McCarthy could pick it up. And there's Subban winding up again. Look out. He's got great speed this time. Coming on, two of them are close to him to check him. And it got loose to Gallagher behind the net. Gallagher trying to get away. Driver all over him. It comes back off the boards to the line and kept in by DeHarnay, who got back there. The Canadians trying to get close to town. And Gallagher knocked down. Play goes right on. And all around the road, led by his advantage. Up over the line, he goes, took the shot. Price was ready for that. And he hangs on to it.
What really goes down on Parliament Hill? Take a peek behind the curtain on the hilarious new series, The Best Laid Plans, premiering tomorrow night at 9 on CBC television. Canadians coming close now and are skating better. The well, bees are out of the nest now, Bob. They got that goal. They got a little life in the crowd. And they are flying now. They're skating extremely well. Ottawa still got the lead. Their job now is to try to play in the offensive zone. You cannot sit on this thing. So everything pointing to a great third period here tonight at the Bell Center in Montreal. Markov had to hurry back there on him. Quickly was Cassian. But the Canadians control the play. And away to the line and out the center. Long pass by Yimelin. That got down there for icing. Nobody got near near center ice or the blue line. And back it'll come. That little coverages are so, so important. You look at the goal that they just scored, the Briere, you know, Carlson is with his man, and then all of a sudden, as the play breaks down, he just ignores him for a split second, and that's all it takes is that split second for a guy like Briere, who's a goal scorer, to find that quiet zone, that soft spot on the ice. Here comes Turris again on the faceoff against Pekanis. Pekanis has been pretty good. Faceoffs. This one he wins again. The Canadians control. So Markov takes a look. He sees Briere. Got two goals. McCannett's coming on. McCannett shoots. Nice pad save by Anderson as he went down low. McCannett's on the puck. Nobody opened, so he whipped it around the net. That was a good play as Subban came off the bench and got up there. Shot it to the side of the net. Subban is on it. Subban waits, gets it back to the line to Georges on the other side. All Canadians here, the shot. Oh! Score! They scramble and come out of nowhere. Subban, Gianna, Breer, they were all in there close. And let's see how they call it. But it's a tie game. That we know. Breer, what about this? Mechanics. Well, we'll pick this up as it comes to the net here and it gets tapped in from Gianta. Nice goal for Montreal. Game tie and goal. This is all about. Montreal storming the castle here. There's every puck right there. Subban picks it up and comes down behind the net with Lacanich. Great chance right there. And it's just going to follow itself around. Subban stays with it. Good job for Montreal. And it's been a bit of a schmozzle in the end here for Ottawa. And the captain ties this game up. Yes, 3-3. Three, three, the goal by Gionta. And it's a tie game. Before we hit the five-minute mark of the third, and here's Heller. Up over the line with a shot that's off a stick and wide of the net. And CC had him covered. Eller kept going, got a pass away. Eller gets it back, looks back. The Canadians were changing, nobody up the line. Bork in the corner, back where Eller was. Over to Bouillon, back to Eller. Eller gets ready to make another play. Bouillon comes up a step or two. Didn't see the pass, and it was grabbed by McCulloch of Ottawa. Back out to center ice. He shoots the puck in. Giada six this time the game. And got the crowd going. The has got the assist. 4.46 the time. And this the third period. So 3-3. Three, three. And the thought comes up with the pass to center. Got away at center ice. As Greeny couldn't knock it down. But they get it back again. Greeny takes the pass. Takes the shot. Right to Carey Price. We'll hang on to that. One second away from the six-minute mark of period three. You're in full control right now this period, and you've got the game tied. No sense laying a puck out to the side or putting it into traffic. Carey Price does the right thing. Catch it, freeze it, bury it, face off to the left. But what the captain has done here is tied this game up. And again, one thing about Gionta and Gallagher, and, and such a great example for Gallagher, is Gionta is a guy who's always been around the net. He's not a big guy, but he plays much bigger, and he goes into the traffic areas, and Gallagher is of the same ilk, and he's got a great mentor to follow. 3-3 tie. Cannon played a big role in that tying goal, too. As did Breer. Gianta got it. But knocked down by Pajol. Couldn't make the play. Canadians get out again. It's a new team here in red, white, and blue here in the third period. They're really taking off. Getting two goals and tying the game. Nearing the seven-minute mark of the third period. 
Sends are changing with the Canadians deep in their own zone, and Yemelin brings it on. Up the pass over on this side. Bonneval, who's quick too, got up there in a hurry. But the Senators control the puck. Bobby Ryan lifts the pass to center, and that was good. Turris moves on along the boards, headed ahead. Turris waits to see what MacArthur is going to do. MacArthur lost it. Turris stays right there. The Canadians get it, put to the line, and out. There is Placanitz. The pass got over there, all right, ducked in front, and again, Gianna came close. But he was bumped going to the net, and the goaltender hangs on. So we have a tie game here in the third period in Montreal. The coolest of things make the biggest difference, and coming off the bench and into the play hard is one thing coaches encourage you to do. Look at Subban as he comes off the bench and a change, he's got to come into the zone. MacArthur just has to finish the body there, but he doesn't. He tries to strip the puck off the big defenseman, and that's a bad idea. Hard to contain him, he ends up being the guy that gets it back to the point, and this puck just rotates around, gets to your net, and that allows Montreal to track it down and tie this hockey game. Played seven minutes and one second of the third. And the Canadians are out shooting Ottawa 6-3 in this period. To this point, it is Placanitz bending in. He didn't see the puck dropped. They're going to do it again. I don't know what happened to the linesman that time. He sounded the whistle again. Placanitz just wasn't ready. That's on why he wants to do it again. Somebody stepped inside that big circle. Now it's the Canadians in control. Subban. In a hurry to pass. And there for Gianta. Giannis after it, skate to the far side to get it. Good play on the boards, Briere lost it. Ottawa Senators get control, and move it out. Bobby Ryan made contact at center ice, and that goes in deep. There's Subban, has some speed going right away, but he gave it to Pekens. He played it ahead. Subban stays up on the play, and the Canadians are in deep. Two men in after it, centering pass. Here's Gianna once again. He centers it a second time. Gianna after the puck over on the side. Looks back to the blue line. Goes the other way as he fooled everybody. And then up comes Subban. He was bumped. Lost the puck. Senators get it and get out of the zone. Ryan had a dandy move and then the second time lost it. Placanitz fires hard. The rebound comes off the chest of Craig Anderson, but nobody could get near the puck. Right in front of him. Briere delivers the pass. That was easily picked off and cleared down the ice by Conacher. Price stepped out of the net. This is a great pace here in the third period again. As he sure has picked up from the slower pace in the second. Canadians have tied the game. 3-3 nearing the nine-minute mark, and here's Deharnay. Galloping away over the line with Gallagher to the net. Gallagher right in! And that was stopped by Anderson. They didn't get a piece of it. Enough on the puck to get it out. Big scramble in front. Gallagher battling away. Rolled it through the blue ice. He's knocked down. The crowd thought something would be called. The two referees let him go. Gallagher knocked his man down in front of the net. Let's see what's going on now. Now listen to this crowd. They're really upset. But Gallagher is really doing what he does best. When you drive to the net and you know you're not going to get the puck, he takes the advantage of going into Anderson. No referee's going to call that. That upsets Conacher. Anderson gives him a shot right in the gut. This thing continues as Conacher knocks him down. The referee's letting all that go. And then this is where he draws the line. <laughs> he says, okay, these two guys are gone. And this goes way back to the playoffs. When these two guys went at it in the playoffs last year, Conacher gets a bump right there in the head from Preston as he's skating away. Gallagher and Conacher go at it here. Two of the smaller guys, but I'll tell you what, both those guys play bigger than their size. And you look at Gallagher driving to the net, you know one thing, if he doesn't get the shot away, he's taking the opportunity to bump into Anderson and get him off his game. And he certainly did that. On the Gianna goal, add an assist to Briere. He had that figure all along. But Cannon's got the other assist. So a 3-3 tie, and the Canadians lose the faceoff to Ottawa. Conrad weaves his way to center. Gets away from one hit. Will he catch up to the puck? Yes, he does. Good work by Condra. Back to the line. Slapped in deep by the thought. Canadians have it. Slow clearing was Pacioretty. He's caught over there by Condra now. Had to move it to the defenseman, Yamelin. And he'll wait. 3-3 three, three tie. Halfway mark. Third period coming up. Gay Harnay. On the boards. Pacioretty. Lost the puck. Tipped away by Smith. 
Ottawa on the attack, coming down as McCulloch shoots. High and wide of the net, never missed by much. Then down comes Pacioretty the other way. He's grabbed from behind, but shakes it off and puts to the net. But the break's on. He's knocked down before he could get a shot, and Ottawa will go the other way. Down comes Cody Cici. He played the puck in and off the boards to Subban of the Canadians. Quick pass, they're flying out there now. Down is Pocanis over the line, looking for Bruin to get inside. Senator through the blue ice. The Senators watch the puck come all the way to center. Subban trying to turn it back, and he does. Gets it over the line, hands it off. Ran into his own man. They're trying to change. He and Pocanis collided. Ottawa. Slowly getting started as MacArthur in his own zone goes behind the net. Starts away. Coming down to this right side was Pajot. Didn't see him right away. He left it for the defenseman CC. And now MacArthur on with the brakes. Takes a look. Pass it front. And what a save by Carey Price. Pajot came in quickly off the line. And Price comes up with the save of the game. Given the situation and the time of the third. 9.44 remaining. Wow! It's tied in the third period, and it's time now for Hockey Night Close-Up. Brought to you by Subway Restaurants. He's been a healthy scratch three of the last six games. He hasn't had a point in his last ten. And tonight, he's been the factor for the Montreal Canadiens. He's got two goals and an assist in this game. And he's been all around the net. He has shown his prowess. He has helped the Canadians get back into a game. They were struggling to get in behind. He's found the quiet zones on the ice. He's shown us his soft, quick, and tight hands. His ability to maneuver in the traffic. And he is our close-up. And I'll tell you what, the last hat trick he had was January 7, 2012. Against who, Bob? The Ottawa Sanders. Ottawa Sanders, yeah. of course. Okay, and they win the draw here. MacArthur got it back to the line. Got it returned. Left it for Cowan. Canadians break it up and get going again. Pacioretty got the center. Finds a little bit of a hole, but circled back then. Threw a long pass down there. That won't click. And now Subban takes it from Georges. Stick handles his way to center ice. Georges comes up with him. Takes the pass and poked it in around the net. And on it was Jared Cowan. On this side, MacArthur moves back to help. The Canadians are in on the puck quickly. Attacking. The Ottawa sends DeHarnay in after the puck to the corner. Getting help from Gallagher, poked at it, along the boards, fell, and the Senators get it out. Dumped to center ice, down across the line, that long shot by Kleiner. Got in wide of the net, he's going to pick it up, though, and didn't get the chance. Canadians, DeHarnay was there first, and got help to get it out. Eric Riva flipped it back in for Ottawa, Georges, that's the college right behind him. And the Canadians get it going. Down to center ice. Eller steaming in there quickly. Drops it back. Fork shot the screen to hit Eller going to the net. Raining on it. Backhanded the puck over here on this side. And that stepping up there was Murray again. Shot it to the corner. The Canadians are on it. Back to Murray. He'll take a shot this time. Back to the net. Rebound grabbed by Craig Anderson as he stopped the Murray shot and then jumped on the rebound. When the lead singer of a ragtime group turns up dead, Detective Murdoch must look to the past for answers. Watch an all-new Murdoch Mysteries, Monday night at 8 on CBC. Well, a lot has been said about the maneuverability of Douglas Murray, but here he didn't have to move much at all, just get it to the net, and that he does. A rolling puck, which is hard to handle. And Craig Anderson gives a little rebound, but Montreal can't get anybody to the net. 3-3 tie in the third, 8.20 remaining. Ottawa had the 3-1 lead coming into this third period, and now the Canadians with the two goals. Greer and Gionda. Buck shot out by Condra to Zach Smith. Poked it over the line. Gionda was back to the Canadians, being chased back there by Greening. And then Markov had to hurry over there. He did that. Poked down the ice. Breer was up on the move. Gianna missed the pass. And they stop it at the line. Have to get back on side. But Zach Smith takes over. Got it back. For Mathot. He got it to center ice. And Markov stopped that but gave it away. Conroe will pick it up off the boards. Shoot it inside that Montreal blue line. And that line scoots off on the change. Markov, open ice, looking at him. Comes out. Decides to get a good hour. Let him move. That was right there. Shot the puck in. And very quickly, CeCe was on it. 
It comes to Turos. Away he goes with the pass to Bobby Ryan over here to CC. He has a good shot. Big rebound off the blocker of Price. But it got outside the line for Phillips. 7.15 left in the third. Phillips waits. Down to Ryan. Ryan just flipped the little shot in, hoping Turris would get to it. Canadians were back. CC broke it up at the line and kept him in. George's back of the net. Quick pass to Subban. Stopped dead in his tracks, so got the pass up the home. He'll take the long shot and head off. Back to CC. Around the net for Town. Town got it ahead. And the Ottawa Senators get the zone by shooting it in. Zabanajad knocked it down. Then to look over in front on that time. He was Potter. Tigers nailed. Up to Pacioretty. He got a short pass away. Pacioretty takes it up on the skate and lost it. Back for Zabanajad of Ottawa on the other side. Over the line. And Conacher dumped it in around the net to the corner board. Zabanajad moved up. Made sure it stayed in deep. And comes in to help. He picks it up finally. Pinned on the boards in there. The Canadians, Murray covered him. Low right in front of his own net. All nerve now. Got the puck off the boards. Out and down the ice. Pacioretty comes in. Fake the shot around the net. Pacioretty on the puck. Out front. Hit something there for Gallagher. Can't get a shot away, though. He's covered. And the Ottawa Sands going to get it. Pacioretty with a great chance to get the lead for Montreal. He was surprised more than anybody. The puck came to him. Anderson was ready. There goes Pajot, flying in on goal. And he rifled the puck wide on the short side. Green stopped it. Put a high one in on this side. Moving up there and shooting in his driver. Behind the net, Ottawa coming hard. It's a loose puck grab. Green took a shot that's blocked. And then the Canadians dump a high one up to center ice. Knocked down at the line. Galchenyuk could not have played it. What about offside? He does now. It's okay. Onside. Here comes Bork chasing Griba. The big defenseman left to pull the thought. His partner who poked it ahead. The Sens get going. Down to center ice in a 3 3 tie is McCarthy. He shoots it in. That's the signal for Ottawa to change him up. Only 5 0 5 remaining in the third. As it's moving right along quickly. mccann has got a pass away, but everybody was covered. Intended for Gianda, who tied the game back at 4.46. And the play goes offside at the Montreal Blue Line. We're down now to four minutes and 48 seconds remaining in the third period. It's a 3-3 tie in Montreal. Canadians come into the third knowing they have to open it up. They did. They've tied the game. The shots are 12-6 Montreal. Well, the relationship between Greg Anderson and Brendan Gallagher continues to grow here as Gallagher goes to the net, gets a couple of whacks at it as the puck comes to the net, and then when the puck's gone, watch the whack he gives him right there on the knee. This puck's going to rotate out right into the slot and find its way onto Pacioretty's stick. All the Senator players are leaving. Good save by Anderson. And then off to the races goes Pajot. And of course, in game three last year, he had the three. They were chanting his name, and they would have been chanting it again in Ottawa. He'd have rifled that one in. Greening, Stone, Condra, the goal scorers for Ottawa. Greer has two for the Canadians. Giada, the game tying goal here in the third. Condra on the puck, winning the faceoff. Ottawa getting it in deep. Subban having difficulty controlling the puck back there. He's caught. Got some help. And Giada will skate away. Good pass to center. George is up on the play. We'll dump it into the boards in the corner. It rings around and comes out. The cannons picked it loose. Canadians are on it. Centering pass to Briere. Back to the line to Georges. He had to go ahead with it. No lane to shoot. Circling the net though. Pekanic lost it. Condra dumped it ahead. And Greeny from center ice will flip it into his own. And Condra, the only Ottawa Senator. Up he stole it. Up front. And he stopped by Price. Big giveaway in there by the Canadians to Condra at the end of his shift. He's off now, but he nearly got the go-ahead goal for the Senators. Big save again by Carey Price. Under four minutes remaining in the third. And on all back to pick up. The puck is Chris Phillips. They get in over the line. Pajot pass got over there to MacArthur. Back to the line. CC ripped it. Stopped by Price. Pacioretty is all the way back. Ottawa's on the puck. Good for checking by Ottawa. And from the line, CC decides to go the other way to Phillips. He might come back to him, and he does. He rolled it ahead. CC open again. This time the shot. Right to Price. 
He's quick to get down with that catching mitt and hang on to it. Great job by Cody Cece to find the lanes and get pucks through to the net, but no traffic in front of Carey Price. Josh George has had a rough game tonight. He fell down the first period. He had a turnover as well around the net. And here, he's just soft on the puck. And good job by Condra. As his line mates were changing, he laid the pressure on him until he turned it over. Here's a good look at Cody Cece and getting that lane to the net. You just got to have bodies in front. These goalies are too good if they can see him. Canadians win this important faceoff, and they're defending zone and get it out to center ice. First is up there hard, but on the puck, it's going down, around the net it goes, and Ottawa takes off. Conacher poked it in deep, and he's allowed to catch up to it. Side stepping hit in there is Conacher. Cabana Jad is there with him, he gets hit. The Canadians trying to find the puck in their own zone again. Ottawa coming hard after them. Conacher missed it, and it's crushed again, who gets it out. Won't get to the puck, though. Cowan was back to pick it up and go to Carlson. The dangerous rushing defenseman is in there for Ottawa. Carlson shoots off the wrapper of Perry Price as he went for that top corner and nearly found it. Crust fell. 2.42 left to play in the third. Subban dancing up there. Flipped it on the right side and stays in there, but it's Colin Greening again who had a chance to clear. A second chance for Smith, and he'll hang on to it and circle back. Down there at the far side is Greeny. Takes a look over here to Condra. Decides to shoot it. It went off a stick in wide of the net. Dumped to the corner. Condra is up to shoot it around the net. Greeny over there, but here comes Pacioretty. He doesn't get to it. Condra trying to center it. Greeny in the corner. Back to the line. Long shot. Stopped by Price. Condra again on it. Condra very dangerous here in his last two shifts. Played on the boards by Condra. Back around the net. Greeny missed it. The Canadians finally get the puck ahead, and Gallagher tapped it up to center ice. Pacioretty striding ahead, couldn't pick it up against Chris Phillips. Under two minutes left in the third. 3-3 three, three tie. CC coming in with a shot. Five feet wide of the net, but on the puck is Pajot over there. Dumped it into the corner. Ottawa after it is Mark MacArthur. Along the board, circles out front, might get a shot, leaves it. That price has to come up with another big save. Off Mark Stone will rip the high one on him. Canadians get it down, and there's Breer racing ahead of everybody. Breer trying to center it to Volkanovs, who was left uncovered. But the Ottawa Senators pick it up, and CC is back up there again. End of his shift, he shoots it in. 1-15 remaining in the third period in Montreal. It's a tie game, and Montreal, with the puck to center ice, is Eller. Dropped it back, crushed with him. On the puck is Cowan. He dumped it ahead, not far enough. Bowen was there. Cowan again as much. You heard it. It's the last minute of regulation time. And there is Kyle Juris. Lost it. Bowen shot. Another one by him. Blocked. And the Ottawa Senators, Ryan, poked it out. Went up after it with McCulloch. And they're offside. Ryan did finally pick it up, but they're offside with 43.4 seconds remaining in regulation time. What about the goaltending? Well, goaltending has been great. One of the greater skaters I've seen in the game in my time, Eric Carlson. And what a shot. They got the butt end of Perry Price to stick. And then what work ethic from Clark MacArthur to lay this one right there. And Price gets the shoulder up and at it. I'll tell you what, there's been... The shots are 32-29 in favor of Ottawa, but there have been a lot of very good quality scoring chances these two goaltenders have had to deal with. All right, 42 seconds now. Somebody trying to get control. And it's Georges, or uh, Subban, who played it ahead from Georges' pass. Deep in the Ottawa zone. That's hooked away by Griba. Far enough for Ottawa to get going. 25 seconds remaining. Georges couldn't knock it down. Smith takes a shot right on rebound. Price made two saves. And the penalty is called. Price comes up big again in the dying seconds of the third period. And made two more big saves. And right here in the dying moments, Canadian Subban is going off. Well, Eric Condors had quite the game tonight. You know he's a third, fourth line player, but boy, he gives everything he's got. He's got the goal tonight, but he's driven to the net. You recall he turned the one over on Josh Georges earlier. He's been one of the Senators' best four checkers, and with not a lot of time left in this game and going into overtime, okay, he has just drawn a penalty on Montreal's best defense here, P.K. Subban, so he will not be available to them. And in 18 seconds, it's going to be a four-on-three in the overtime for the Ottawa Senators. 
well. If overtime comes, 17, well, 18.4 seconds on the clock, and that's official now. And the Indians win the draw, and that's shot away down the ice. 12 seconds remaining. One more rush. Carlson can do it. He's away. He's going to get the zone. He's going to get in. Doesn't get a shot, though. Look out. Four seconds remaining. The Canis can't catch up to it in time to get a decent scoring chance. And that's the end of the third period. The shots were even in the third, 12 apiece, as Ottawa caught up in the last five minutes. So, here tonight at the Bell Center in Montreal, we've got overtime with these two Canadian teams. Ottawa and Montreal will go at it in overtime in the moment. Well, Carey Price let in three goals in the first period. It looked like it was going to be a rough night, but he has closed the door the rest of the way here as he's held the Ottawa Senators at bay and he's made some combination saves like that he's made a couple of great saves one with the butt end of his stick one in a deflection one with his right shoulder that just came and laid on them Ryan shot he's tracked the puck well and he has given the Montreal Canadiens a chance to get themselves back in this hockey game and an opportunity to win and they're going to need him to be their best penalty killer as they head into overtime and for the next minute and 40 seconds they're going to be down four on three the shots in the game regulation time ottawa 33 montreal 29 and the two goalies i think you'll agree gary played an outstanding saturday night tonight like it's not your standard you know whatever 33 29 shots there have been some very good quality chances around the net that both these goalies have had to be sharp on you look at the goals that went in Hard to fault them on any of them. It's a really solid game. Ottawa out of the gate quickly, so good. The second period was kind of a bit of a wash. There wasn't much going on. And then the Canadians poured on in the third period, tied up. It's gonna be an exciting overtime period. And the Montreal Canadiens were having their hands full with P.K. Subban in the penalty box. And it looks like they're gonna start this off with Georges, Markov, and Placanitz on the kill. Ottawa gets a nice 30 second minute break to set up the four on three and Paul McLean is all about playing hunches he's all about rewarding guys on the four on three Mark Stone is going to start this so here's overtime in Montreal maybe having tied it up in the third period Pekanis lifts a high one off the glass Cindy Bit more room out there now. The four on four over time, and Ottawa with the puck first. Carlson delivers the pass. McCarthy comes after the return in behind the net was stopped. The goalie was out of the net. Carlson missed it, lost his stick. The process. It's down the ice. The Canucks striding up there as Zavanajad got back for Ottawa. Don't forget now, Subban in the penalty box. It's four on three. To start the overtime should have corrected that Ottawa on the power play and there the pass right to MacArthur very patient Montreal team no shot yet back and forth they go there's the shot comes to MacArthur price ready shot score Harris the shot on the short side by Clark MacArthur and the Ottawa Senators have won their fourth in a row a quick shot on a power play goal with Subban in the penalty box. And they had lots of time to set it up, and they set it up perfectly. Patience. I mean, they just waited it out. It was a drive to the net by Eric Condra that drove the penalty, that drew, uh, got the penalty, that drew the penalty with 18 seconds left, and that leads to this. And look who's in front of the net but Mark Stone. He got his first NHL goal tonight. He's on the screen. He's distracting Carey Price, and MacArthur uses... Markov as a screen and he pulls it inside. He looks like he's gonna go far side and then he pulls it inside and he fools Carey Price on the short side just inside the post. And that'll be his 14th goal. And a big one at that as the Ottawa Senators got ahead three to one, gave up a couple of third period goals and a lot of momentum to the Montreal Canadiens. But at the end of the day, an overtime goal by MacArthur is the big win for the Ottawa Senators. So greening, Stone, Condra, and the overtime goal by MacArthur. The Ottawa scores. Briere had two, Gianna the other. 
It's an overtime win for Ottawa. Here's Ron McLean.